so good morning students in previous class we are discussing about the <coughs> cro okay so the construction of cro and what are the main parts of cro okay so see cro is nothing but cathode ray oscilloscope okay so the main part of cro is nothing but crt cathode ray tube okay so so under this cathode ray tube having the main parts are electron gun vertical deflection plates okay as well as horizontal deflection plates okay pass through screen screen okay so like this okay to give the to our operating vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plates we having a for vertical plates we having vertical amplifier delay line okay and so on for horizontal deflection plates we have trigger circuit time based generator horizontal amplifier okay so high voltage supply is given to the crt okay low voltage supply is given to the remaining parts of the crvo okay so this is discussed in earlier class okay this is the crvo already this is you have to see in the edc lab okay so and you have to discussing what are the a the cathode ray oscilloscope consisting of a black sir vertical amplifier delay line trigger circuit prime base generator horizontal amplifier okay crt and power supply okay so uh, and uh, you have to discussing what are the different uh, op what are the purpose of these all components of a crvo you have to discuss it okay so and you have to discussing the operation and construction of the crt also see here you have to deflection sensitivity of crvo now here you have to find out the deflection sensitivity of the crvo that's why here you can assume e not e not is nothing but voltage of free accelerating anode okay so in crt you have to see accelerating anode okay so here e not is nothing but here you can assume e not equal to voltage of pre accelerating anode in volts okay e equal to charge of an electron in coulombs m equal to mass of electron in kgs okay so that means uh, from the electron gun it release uh, from the electron gun it releases the electron beam that means nothing but it is the composition of the electrons okay so that's why here you can mention e not equal to voltage of pre accelerating anode in volts e equal to charge of an electron in coulombs m equal to mass of electron in kg vox equal to velocity of the electron when entering into the deflecting plates in meter per second ed equal to potential between deflecting plates in volts okay so already here you have to take an ed ed is nothing but the potential deflection between the plates okay and d equal to distance between deflecting plate in the meters so that is nothing but in between two deflecting plates vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflecting plates the distance you can assume that will be d l d equal to length of the deflecting plates in meters okay uh, uh, l equal to distance between screen and the mid of the deflecting plates okay okay d equal to deflection of electron beam uh, electron this deflection of electron beam on the screen in y direction okay see here coming to the diagram see here you can assume the distance between the deflection plates you can assume d small uh, small d and the length of the deflection plate okay so and ld ld is nothing but length of the deflecting plates l equal distance between the screen and the mid of the deflecting plates okay the d is nothing but the deflection okay see when the electron moves from accelerating cathode to anode okay uh, so uh, they lose their potential energy so here we are having accelerating 
anode and cathode so already you have to see in the crt when the electron moves from cathode to anode okay that means negative to positive they lose their potential energy so at that time the electron will loses its potential energy the formula gives the potential energy of the electron okay the potential energy of the electron will be given as p equal to e into ea okay the electron gains the kinetic energy so it loses the potential energy but here the electron will gains the a kinetic energy okay so and their energy is given by the equation and the kinetic energy is given by equation is ke equal to half mv square all of you know okay so potential energy formula all of you know kinetic energy formula all of you know so here that's why here you can write the kinetic energy ke equal to half ma vx square okay equating the potential and kinetic energies you get the velocity of the electron when it enters in the reflecting beds whenever you can equate these two one see what are those two one e into a is equal to half mv e square at the time you can equal these two one so at the time you can get v velocity of the electron will be given by v o x equal to 2 e a by m square root okay so otherwise you can write whole to the power of 1 by 2 so here this formula is this formula is getting by equating the potential energy of the electron and the kinetic energy of the electron whenever you can equate these two parameters at that time here you can get v o x equal to 2 e a by m whole to the power of 1 by 2 the velocity of the electron in the x direction remains the same throughout the deflection plates so you have to see you have to take the direction of horizontal plates is nothing but the x axis and in vertical plates you have to take in y so that's why the velocity of the electron in x direction so whenever the electron will moves in x direction velocity will be remain same through over the deflection plates because no force was acting in the x direction okay so at that time here you can write uh, you can assume the velocity in, uh, here you can assume uh, ev equal to ed by d okay so c the uh, that means that is that is the uh, uh, the equation gives the electric field intensity in the y direction okay so that means the force will be acting in the y direction so here i am says that, that there is no force acting in the x direction but here the force will be acting in the y direction at that time the force will be by fy equal to e into ey so ey will be given as already you have to take an ed by d so at that time here you can write e into ed by d okay the force acting on the electron in the y direction that term ay shows uh, ay shows the acceleration ey so this is even assumed in the y direction so at that time here you can write fy equal to m into ay so acceleration here you can indicate with the small a so at that time here you can write ay equal to e into ey by m okay see the force acting on the electron in y direction the term ay shows the acceleration of the electron in the y direction okay the force acting on the electron in the y direction the term ay shows the acceleration so in y so in y direction means you can assume y equal to half ay t square so at that time already ay you can write down e into uh, ey ey by m t square okay the velocity in the y direction is constant okay and displacement in the y direction is given as so x equal to vo x into t okay so at that time here you can write t equal to x by vo x so at that time substituting that value so here you can see here t equal to x by vo x this t value here substitute in this equation so at that time here you can get substituting the value of t in the displacement equation y it will gives the y equal to half e by m in here in the place of t here you can substitute x by v o x whole square the above equation represents parabola okay this is the equation of parabola i think y equal to x square you can write okay so uh, the slope at any point is given as per far parabola uh, you have to know in mathematics you can get uh, for the parabola the slope at any point will be given as differentiation with respect to x so dy by dx that is whenever you have to differentiate with respect to the x at that time what happen half ey by m vox vox square okay so this is uh, 
uh, uh, splitted x square by v o x square. So at that time half e y by m v o v o x square is constant. At that time only you have to different the x square. What is the differentiation of x square two x? Okay, at that time two two will be get cancelled. At that time uh, you have to get. So at that time you have to get e e y by m into v o x square. See here in the equation here you you can miss the x value here whenever you have to differentiation this term at that time it will you can write y equal to one by two e y m v o x square you can get here two x two two will be cancelled here x is there. So, but in uh, equation, so here in x will be not represented. Okay, so see, so in the place of x here, I can say that here we have to s. In the place of x, you can substitute id. You get the value of tan theta. Okay, so dy by dx is nothing but tan theta. At that time, you can you can write tan theta equal to half e y by m o square id. Okay, so that means. Uh, E y is nothing but e d by d. So in previous uh, uh, previous equations, you can write e y is nothing but e d by d. So you can substitute that value. So at that time, you can get uh, here uh, here two is not there. So but here two will be coming. So this is printing mistake. Okay. So it tan theta equal to e e y by m d naught square into i d. So e into i d i d by m d v square. So after passing through deflection plates. This electron moves into the straight line. This straight line is tangent to the parabola at x equal to id. So in previously I can represent c. So it is the tangent to the parabola. Okay. So. So and intersect the x-axis at point O. Okay. So the deflection d on the screen is expressed as d equal to l tan theta. So uh, uh, so the formula for the deflection you can write d equal to l tan theta. Tan theta value you can get in previous equation is e e d i d by m d v o x square. So at that time the deflection d on the screen will be expressed as d equal to l tan theta. That is equal to l e e d i d by m d v o x square. By substituting the value of v o x square in the Above equation you can get. Okay, so see, um, v o x is nothing but two uh, e a by m. So so at that time, well, m will goes our top side. Okay, numerator. So at that time, m m will be cancelled. So at that time, you can get here e e will be also cancelled. At that time, you can get l e d i d by two d e a. This is the From the above equation, you can conclude that the deflection of the electron is directly proportional to the deflecting voltage. E d is nothing but deflecting voltage. Okay, from that here you can say that the deflection is directly proportional to the uh, deflection of the a uh, de deflection voltage. Okay, so this is the deflection sensitivity of a C R O. Okay, so so uh, so deflection sensitivity. Finally, you can write deflection sensitivity S equal to d by E d. D is nothing but L into See here. Here you can get deflection L into E D I D by 2 D E A. Okay, so whenever you can write L into D 2 D E A by E D, so at that time E D E D E D E D cancels. So directly I can write the formula L I D by 2 D into E A milli per ohms deflection factor. So here the deflection factor. So deflection sensitivity is S equal to d by e d. That means deflection by deflecting voltage. Okay, deflection factor is nothing but g equal to one by s. So one by s means s means deflection sensitivity. So here you can write this in a 
denominator so whenever you can this is the reciprocal so at that time you can here you can write 2d ea by l into uh, id okay so that is the nothing but the deflection sensitivity and deflection factor okay this is not important just uh, this deflection sensitivity just i will ex say that okay so next lissajous pattern so lissajous pattern is nothing but the result of applying sinusoidal function to the both horizontal and vertical deflection plates is called lissajous pattern okay so here in cro uh, so to get the output compulsory you have to applying a some source some input so that is in the form of a sinusoidal function okay so that applying the sinusoidal function to the both horizontal and vertical deflection plates is called as lissajous pattern okay the result of applying sinusoidal function to the both horizontal and vertical deflection plates is called lissajous pattern okay see uh, see when angle is 0 degrees so see this is the voltage applied to y y plates y plates is nothing but vertical plates okay so this is the voltage applied to the horizontal plates okay so here so like this this is a crt screen okay so here you have to applying like this see when angle in between c here whenever you have to apply the lissage whenever you have to applying the sinusoidal angle at a zero degree angle so here angle will be zero okay at that time it will gives the straight line okay the the output will be appears in the form of a here this there is straight line see whenever we have to applying in between 0 to 90 degrees okay here see in between 0 to 90 degrees uh, so at that time so like this okay like this uh, oval shape here you can get the output signal okay so see these are the lissajous patterns for different angles so whenever the theta equal to 0 degrees so at that time like this in this shape whenever 30 to 3 30 or 330 degrees so whenever you have to apply the sin side uh, signal in between 30 degrees to 330 so at that time it is gives the the lissajous pattern is in this shape so whenever 60 or 300 degrees okay so at that time this one so whenever 90 or 270 so it will gives exact the circle whenever you have to apply the sin side signal in between 120 120 a r 240 okay whenever you have to apply the sin side and signal one also that means here up to now straight line like some oval oval shape circle so up, so here again reverse circle again oval shape oval shape straight line. at 180 degrees it will gives the completely a sin side uh, sorry completely straight line okay these are the lissajous patterns for different angles see use of applying saw tooth to the horizontal plates okay see saw tooth sweep voltage applied to the horizontal plates like this okay here you can get so this is the output okay input waveform applied to the y plates okay this is for x plates so at the time here get the pattern in this way okay here you can apply the a uh, signal okay this is very very important applications of crvo okay so finally you have to discussing what is crvo and what are the components of crvo okay and what is the working of the different components in the crvo okay and what is the deflection sensitivity in the crvo okay as well as the uh, what is the lissajous patterns lissajous patterns in uh, uh, crvo is nothing but the applying of the uh, sinusoidal signal to the horizontal and vertical plates is nothing but the lissajous patterns you have to see the lissajous patterns now you can see the measure applications of crvo okay first one this is used for measurement of voltage and current okay so in crvo what you have to take in signal okay so you have to see you have to doing the experiments in the edc lab you have whenever you have to see the signals on the crvo display so at that time you can measure you can measure the voltage amplitude and current okay so that means see measurement of voltage and current that is the first applications of crvo so crvo display the voltage signal as a function of time on its screen 
okay so that means volt so it will be displaced the signal as the function of a time the amplitude of the voltage signal is constant but you can vary the, the number of divisions that cover the voltage signal in vertical direction varying volt for division knob on the crvo panel see and the crvo uh, you can take the amplitude of the signal is constant but you can vary according to the number of divisions so here you can mention volt per division okay so you are doing in the experiments therefore you will get the amplitude of the signal by multiplying the volts per division and number of division okay so total number of divisions into volt per division so at the time you can get the amplitude of the signal okay uh, measurement of phase and Okay, next application is measurement of phase and frequency using CRV. Okay, this is the measurement of a phase angle. Okay, so whenever you can get the signal like this, okay, this is a major axis. Okay, so see, this is the horizontal deflection plates, this is the vertical deflection plates at that time, sin phi. Okay, measurement of phase angle will be given as Y1. This is, you can assume Y1 in the vertical axis and this one you can assume Y2 and this one you can assume the x1 and you can assume this one is x2 so at that time sin phi sin phi phi is nothing but the phase angle so uh, sin so actually sin phi value is y1 by y2 is equal to 2x1 by x2 whenever you have to get the phase angle phi at that time you can write sin inverse of y1 by y2 equal to sin inverse of x1 by y2 okay this is the measurement of phase by using the cr okay coming to the measurement of frequency Okay, the ratio of frequency of signal applied to the deflection plates. Okay, that means F y equal to number of horizontal tangencies e by F y F y by F x. That means number of horizontal tangencies by number of vertical tangencies. Okay, that is nothing but F y e by F x. That means number of intersection of Lissajous patterns with a horizontal line. Okay, number of inter intersections of Lissajous pattern with a horizontal. Sorry, here this is vertical line. Okay. So here uh, there will be a mistake. Okay, this is the vertical line, and this one is horizontal line. See, see here you can get whenever the signal you have you can get here. So at that time, so here uh, this is the y x axis, this is the y axis. So the Lissajous pattern here you can get like this. So wherever there is tangent, tangency means whenever uh, whenever the part touches with the axis, that is nothing but the tangency. So here. Uh, and the what, uh, horizontal axis you have number of tangencies are 2 and vertical axis you have number of tangencies are 1 so at that time here you can write uh, 2 by 1 okay is nothing but the frequency ratio okay you see coming to this one here horizontal tangencies are 3 and vertical tangency is 1 3 by 1 coming to here number of horizontal tangencies 1 2 3 4 4 by 1 so here vertical tangencies is only this one Okay, that's why here you can write 4 is to 1. So, coming to this one, number of horizontal tangents is 1, 2, 3, 3. Here, vertical tangents is 1, 2, 3 is to 2. Here, you can write. Coming to this one, Fy by Fx. Fy is nothing but... Uh, see, number of horizontal fx or fy so anyone you can take fx by fy so one number of horizontal tangents are one two three four four number of vertical tangents is one two okay so that means this axis okay one vertical axis one two so at that time you can write four by two that is equal to frequency is two okay so coming to this one so number of horizontal this is horizontal axis Number of horizontal tangencies are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so these are the number of horizontal tangencies, 6. Okay, uh, so number of uh, um, vertical tangencies, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
these are the number of vertical tangencies okay at that time the measurement of frequency is given by 6 by 4 6 by 4 is nothing but 3 by 2 okay so if the lizards and prior incomplete pad if so so if suppose the lizards pack uh, lizards pattern is incompleted pattern okay if suppose like this okay in some ways if suppose that this lizards pattern is incompleted so at that time you can write f5 by fx equal to number of intersections of the horizontal line with curve okay horizontal line with curve okay number of intersections of horizontal line with curve so how many times it will the line horizontal line will touches the curve okay so divided by number of intersections of the vertical line vertical line with curve okay so vertical line with curve and horizontal horizontal um, see that means uh, so in uh, uh, coming to in uh, previous diagrams the pattern is completed pattern okay so uh, see if you see that these all patterns are completed but here in this diagram the lisages pattern okay the lisages pattern is incompleted so here it, it will be the lisages pattern is not completed so at that time here you can take the number of intersections of the horizontal line with curve okay horizontal line how many times the curve will be touches divided by number of intersections of the vertical line with the curve so at that time you can write number of horizontal tangencies Uh, so that means the, here the line touches the one two. One, what can I say? One two. One two three. Okay, that means two plus one by two. Okay, that means here you can take the half tangency. Okay, so in vertical tangency here you can write only vertical line is only one curve. So at the time by so okay two plus one by Okay, this is the uh, lizards patterns and applications of a CR book. Okay, so these are the uh, this is about total. So CR V CR book is mainly used for these quantities. Okay, this is also used for the purpose of in uh, uh, so CR book is used in the purpose of the medical medical instruments. Okay, so that means uh, you you can see the in, um, cardiograph, cardiography. Okay, these all are medical uh, medical emergency in medical applications. Okay, in navy applications, in air force applications. Okay, so these all are applications also the CR book will be uses. Okay, so this is about the first unit. Okay, in first unit here here you have to study about. what is the measurement okay so so and uh, so to find out that measurement we are using the one instrument okay so if suppose the instrument will be working there will be essential uh, three tasks will be must and should have so without these three tasks the instrument cannot be work okay what are the these three tasks deflecting torque controlling torque uh damping tar deflecting tar means first so initially the pointer so whenever you have to not start that the start the ins instrument whenever you have to start the instrument that means whenever you have to giving the supply so at that time first so deflecting tar is nothing but the tar which is uh, which is used to deflect the pointer okay that means to start the pointer the tar will be with the tar which is acted is nothing but the deflecting tar okay whenever the whenever the um, whenever the pointer will moves whenever there is no controlling torque so at that time the pointer will moves continuously okay to control that deflecting torque here you have to activating the controlling torque so damping torque means whenever you have to take 
goes to the steady state position at that time the pointer will oscillate okay so without uh, so oscillate so to okay to control that oscillations here you have to damping that okay see the uh, Mm, the deflecting torque will be provided in five ways by using the magnetic effect, electrostatic effect, Hall effect, thermal effect, like this. Okay, so controlling torque. Controlling torque is provided in two ways by using the springs and by using the gravity. Okay, that's why here you can say that uh, uh, control uh, controlling torque is two types: spring control and gravity control. Okay, so so uh, so you are seeing in the in spring control. Okay, the deflection which is produced is directly proportional to the current flowing through the meter. You have to see t is directly proportional theta. Sorry, theta is directly proportional to the i. So okay, so and you have to see the gravity control and you have to see what are the differences between the spring control and gravity control. Okay, so next one is damping dark. Damping dark is provided by using in three ways. Those are the a. Um, uh, Uh, air friction damping fluid friction damping eddy current damping okay in air friction damping uh, so so procedure in three one procedure is same but here you have using the one air chamber in air friction damping and uh, in fluid friction damping you have to using the fluid uh, and in uh, eddy current damping you have to using a one eddy damping magnet okay so the so these are the uh, three a three damping torques okay torque methods okay this is also very very important control uh, deflecting the controlling the spring torque so that means any instrument must and should having these three uh, these three torques okay so next you have to see the instrument okay so pmmc instrument a move uh, the pmmc is nothing but permanent magnet moving coil instrument next one is moving iron instrument next one is electrodynamometer instrument okay pmmc PMMC is used for only DC measurement. Okay, that means only PMMC construction is used for the DC measurement. That means whenever you have to giving the uh, DC voltage to the uh, to the machines, so at that time only you have to using the DC supply. So at that time the PMMC construction is used. Okay, that's why this is only applicable for the DC measurements. So here in this one the scale is in PMMC the scale is uniform. So and you have to see the PMMC construction. Okay. Operation and what are the advantage torque equation of PMMC instruments and what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of a PMMC instrument? PMMC is a very 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 important question. Okay, for uh, for ten uh, marks, uh, so uh, ask construction. Okay, operation, torque equation, advantages and disadvantages of a PMMC instrument. Okay, so uh, coming to the In next to second one is moving iron. Okay, M I type. So moving iron is a thing, but M I instruments. So in uh, you have to doing the experiment. You have to in observation also in operators required. You can write in sometimes voltage means side. You can write M C M I. M C is nothing but moving coil type. That means permanent magnet moving coil instrument. M I is nothing but moving iron instrument. So moving iron is nothing but uh, moving iron instrument is also two types. Those are the here moving iron attraction type and moving iron repulsion type instruments okay so oh, and you have to see the and what is the torque equation of moving iron instruments okay uh, okay and advantages and disadvantage disadvantages uh, uh, already have, and electrodynamometer electrodynamometer is a transfer instrument it is also used for ac and dc measurements so and you have to see the construction and okay advantages disadvantages of electrodynamometer so next we have to see the voltmeter and what is the voltmeter and what is the ammeter and the range of uh, extension range of voltmeter and extension range of ammeter to extend the range of ammeter is nothing but shent so that's why here you have to connecting a one series resistance in parallel with the ammeter that is nothing but the shent to extend the range range of voltmeter here you have to connect a one resistance in series with the voltmeter that is nothing but the multiplier okay and you have to see the multi range ammeter and multi range voltmeter in multi range ammeter and multi range voltmeter you have to take a multi range means more than one so um, uh, to extend the range of the ammeter you have to connect a resistance in parallel so in multi range ammeter you have to connecting a number of resistance Uh, in parallel to the ammeter by selecting a one selector switch so similarly in a multi range voltmeter also you have to connect more than one resistor resistors in series with the voltmeter by selecting a one selector switch you have to see the uh, multi range ammeter and multi range voltmeter 
okay so this is the total one part of the a first unit measuring instrument next one is cro cro is nothing but cathode ray oscilloscope okay that means it will display the uh, it will display the amplitude amplitude of the amplitude in the form of a signal okay so that is nothing but the cro cathode ray oscilloscope so and what is the main part of main the heart of cro is nothing but crt okay so crt is nothing but cathode ray tube the total operation will done in this crt in the cro so here you can use this one electron gun so yeah so whenever you have to start the experiment so at that time the electron gun that means electron gun is nothing but it is a one filament wire here you have to use so whenever you have to switch on the supply at that time the filament will heats okay and it releases the electron okay in the form of a electron beam okay so uh, so the electron beam uh, passing on the way through the horizontal deflection plates okay vertical deflection plates and finally will display on the pass plus screen the screen of the cro is made with a pass plus material okay so there there will be different materials we can use so but whenever you have to use the pass plus so at that time you have to more uh, so so the visual representation of the uh, visible representation of the signal is very good so okay that's why here you have to use the pass plus so we have to use the pass plus or pass plus oxide garni uh, pass plus gar gallium so like this combinations of the different materials also you will use for the uh, cro okay so and you have to see the what is the uh, purpose, uh, purpose of the different components of the cro okay and you have to see the applications of the cro and you have to see the lissajous patterns lissajous patterns are nothing but okay uh, lissajous patterns is nothing but you have to apply the sinusoidal signal to the horizontal and vertical deflection plates that procedure is nothing but the lissajous pattern okay depending upon the phase angles okay the phase angles the signal is given to the uh, x axis and y axis you have to get the different patterns okay those patterns are called as the lissajous patterns okay so the lissajous pattern um, lissajous patterns so next you have to see the applications of cro that means it is mainly used in the measurement of voltage and current okay and measurement of the uh, uh, phase angle and frequency okay so so uh, you have to frequency frequency you have to measure by uh, according to you have to take the consider the lissajous patterns you can see how to measure the is uh, uh, frequency so that means you have to take the number of horizontal tangencies by number of vertical tangencies that means tangent tangent is nothing but where the curve touch that point that point will be taken as a tangent okay so that means uh, Uh, you have to find out the frequency you have to take number of horizontal tangents that means the lissajous pattern or the curve so uh, how many times it will touches the x axis divided by number of uh, uh, vertical tangencies that means when uh, so how many times the the will touches the vertical line that is nothing but the frequency measurement okay so this cro is used in the purpose of the medical instrument okay uh, so next one is in the navy so for the det underground detection purpose for navy purpose and air force and per air force purpose and like this all purposes you have to use the cro okay so these are the applications of the cro this is total about the first unit okay so in first unit you have to discuss what is the measurement and what is the instrument what are the essential requirements of it and first you have to discussing instruments okay classification of instruments the instruments are mainly classified into two types okay absolute instrument secondary instrument okay and secondary instrument are again classified into uh, indicating instrument recording instruments and integrating in indicating recording integrating instruments okay so these are total you have to discuss it in the first unit okay so in uh, next class uh, uh, day after tomorrow i will start the second unit okay so in this uh, first unit uh, so the problems are like this here in the so pre frequency uh, frequency measurement okay lissajous pattern okay like this small simple problems for two marks uh, like this uh, two marks problems will be asked okay so uh, otherwise uh, there will be a problem uh, small problems on the controlling torque torque formulas okay so this is about the first thing okay